everybody, I'm Dwayne from Outdoors with Dwayne. I'm en route to the 2019 Houston Fishing Show at the George R. Brown Convention Center. I was planning on meeting my buddies from Average Joe's Outdoor Adventures out there, but due to their work schedules, they were unable to come out there, so I'm going to go ahead and step in, and if it's not too crowded, I'm going to see if I can get some footage out there. All right, guys, so here's where we're headed, the 44th Annual Houston Fishing Show at the George R. Brown Convention Center. The drive out there was pretty easy, even though coming from my direction, it was all Highway 59 on the weekend. But we got there without any incidents, and as soon as we got there, the people working the ticket booth got us right in there. Just smooth as could be. They worked very efficiently. As soon as I got in there, I had to head over to the Fish and Tackle Unlimited booth. That way I could meet up with my buddy, John Stapleton. I've known this guy a long time. He fishes both fresh and salt water. He has a lot of knowledge in both areas. We talked about the kayaks that he was showing. He recommended some lures for me, and we loosely planned a fishing trip that I hope that we can make happen very soon. I was absolutely amazed at the amount of kayaks this place had. The variety was crazy. I wanted to get this Hobie. I loved it, but my wallet disagreed with me, and I'd also have to have money for a new house for when my wife kicked me out. A lot of people are a little standoffish, or maybe even a lot standoffish, at the price of these higher-end kayaks, seeing as how a lot of them are over $1,000. But I encourage you to get out there to these distributors and to these vendors and put your hands on them. Look at them firsthand, and you'll see where the quality's at. It's in the plastic. It's in the way the seat's designed. It's in the hardware. You can definitely tell the time and effort that's put into these things. And I think a big plus about the higher ends is that if you choose to sell it, they don't lose a whole lot in resale value. So you end up getting a lot of your money back in the long run. And we just had to spend some time walking around looking at these awesome boats. They had such a cool variety. Big boats. They had small boats that were still very nice. And just about anything that you could want in or on a boat. They had it out there on display. Imagine my 14 foot John boat with this big old motor on it. That thing would do a backflip. And this boat right here looked like the kind of place I could sit in all day. If I got to be honest, this is my first time filming out in public. And between feeling like a weirdo walking around having a conversation with my phone and being worried that I was going to bump into somebody or knock over something that I absolutely could not afford to pay for. I wasn't sure if we were going to get video footage or not, but luckily my boys offered to shoot some video of us walking around a little bit. You really have to go there to actually see these things to take it all in because there's so much. But here's just a little tour for y'all and hopefully y'all enjoy and it'll be enough to make y'all want to go next year.
right, I want to stop and talk about this product a little bit. We picked up these line cutters from Vance at the line cutters booth. Very nice guy. Talks to you like a person. He don't seem like he's trying to sell you something and really this product sells itself if you don't know what it is i'm going to do a review about it on my channel so that'll be available soon these down south lures were recommended to me by john stapleton and if he says that they're going to catch fish then i believe that they're going to catch fish i got the watermelon on the left for me and the pink on the right for my wife and i believe when we go we're going to knock them dead Chicken Boy Lures was one of my target booths. I've been looking at these guys online. I was excited to get in there and put my hands on their products. I got these six packs of lures, three decals. I got a koozie. They offered me a beer. That's the first time that's ever happened while I was shopping for fishing lures. And they were very helpful in suggesting which color and style of lures for which species we were targeting. If you were watching me carry this thing around in the video, wondering what it was, this is a fish measuring stick. I was definitely trying to find one of these. I stumbled upon it in the last minute just before we started filming. I was very excited about it. Unfortunately, all good things must come to an end, and we had to make our way home. We spotted this gigantic dragonfly, so took a little video and hung out with it for a minute. And then we got this okay picture of Minute Maid Park. I decided to put it on here. Thank you to Average Joe Outdoor Adventures for letting me cover this for y'all. If y'all need anything else, let me know. Uh, to the viewer, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank y'all for watching. I go fly a fish.